Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mark and Chris from the Big 8 Morning Mess, and we are backstage at Jacksonville Veterans Memorial Arena with the one and only Miley Cyrus. Yay! <laughs> I love that you applaud for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I felt like I should. I thought I would add extra sound effects. Now, she just got out of the shower. She smells delightful. Thank and you. You look fantastic. Thank Are you? you. And this is dark hair because it's Miley, not yeah, Hannah. right. <laughs> and we should point out that you're now officially Miley. You weren't really technically legally Miley Cyrus until recently. Right. And um, I'm super excited. Just, it makes everything a lot easier for me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And for well, anyone trying to understand me, I guess. And what was it? You changed it from Smiley was your real name before. No. My, that was your nickname. My nickname, it came from Smiley and my dad would always call me Miley and then it became kind of just what I was always called when I went to school it was under Miley and everything but um, my dad always and my parents would call me Miley Ray and so I guess that's just kind of how it all turned out and then it got very inconvenient and very crazy for me <laughs> I'm like okay well someone would say you know Miley and my dad would yell Miley Ray and everyone's looking around so I guess it just kind of <laughs> well, had to happen at one point <laughs> uh, speaking of your dad is he is he here no he's actually in um, Orlando still shooting a movie that he's working on right now oh cool what movie uh, what's it called? <laughs> what, Bait Shop? I just call it Hot Rod Johnson. That's what Dad calls it. So, that's his character's name. We just call it Hot Rod. So, I think I saw that movie. Yeah, we just call it Hot Rod Johnson, and my dad calls it, um... Bait shop, apparently, is the name. <laughs> uh, well, now, we have some questions from listeners, and Chris has a couple things she want to ask you. But first, we read a story this, just this morning about Disney signing a deal with Walmart mm -hmm. to market 140 new Hannah Montana products. Did you hear about that? Yeah. Um, well, it's kind of been in the, in the works for a little while. And um, we've always kind of had our we've had our products at Walmart and um, some other stores. I've seen at Dillard's and stuff. And, yeah, all kinds of different places. And this, we're just trying to, like, up it a little bit just because there's – so many more options, and it's a really nice place to do it because it's easy and it's affordable, but it's still fun. Do you know how many products your name and image and character name and image are on currently? Any idea? I don't know. I would take a wild guess and be like 200 or three. Is there a, is there a favorite product that you've seen or that you have that you're just, um, that's the coolest and my face is on it? One of my favorite um, things that we have is the guitar is one of my favorites just because um, it was something that I really like try to inspire girls to learn how to play the guitar because that's something that I'm really into and it's just nice, you know, something to escape to. So I thought that was a, one of the coolest ideas to actually have my own guitar. Yeah, musical instruments that makes very, sense. Very cool. uh, we are backstage at Jacksonville Veterans Memorial Arena just moments before Miley Cyrus takes the stage in the Hannah Montana Miley Cyrus Best of Both Worlds tour. Okay, one of the things I want to ask first before we get to our listeners, um, I wanted to know: Is there anything that you, because you're on tour a lot, and plus you're doing a show and you're working? and everything. Now, is there anything that you, if you had time, downtime, what would you really want to do? What do you really want to do? Um, well, it kind of goes along with what I do. Traveling is like one of my favorite things in the world, and so tour is pretty perfect for that because I get to go to every city. But Good I want, but I want to do a lot more than you know, just like the states. So I had the opportunity to go to Paris. I went to London, and then at some point we're going to just go all across and give me the opportunity to learn, and you know, also get to have a little bit of my tourist moments and get to look around because oh, yeah. you know it's fun, and also because I am 15, I get to do school. So a lot of the different places that we get to go, I've been able to go to the cool sites and stuff because it's counted as school and field trips so I'm really looking forward to going overseas and looking at all the different places because I'll have the opportunity to learn and, and to just see you know um, the world through, through the eyes of you know not only just someone working but as a kid you know growing up in that environment. Is there is there like one city one or country that you really want to go to the most? One of my best friends lives in Spain, and I'm really excited because I was going to go actually go visit her, and then, you know, with the tour and everything, I was just like, okay, we got to figure out a time that I can go and also be working a little bit, but also, you know, not just go for a couple of days, but get to go for, you know, a few weeks all around that area and have, you know, some of my friends show me around because I have friends all around the world now. And so that's the place I think I'm looking for the most is going to Madrid and getting to see everything. Nice. Uh, we know that, you know, being an international pop superstar, you probably don't get to go hang out at the mall with your friends and go to the malt shop or I don't know whatever kids do these the days. Malt? But I noticed you have this amazing custom built entertainment system that has like Xbox, Bose Wave Radio, there's like a satellite phone, there's what is that, an air filter? No, it's the computer. Ah, computer. And like a ninety inch T V screen. Is this did you design this? It looks beautiful. I got it for um, my birthday this year. My mom because I was um, you know, I'm shooting the Hannah Montana movie and we're always like really bored when we have downtime. We're like, okay, what are we gonna do? It's like a bunch of kids, what are we gonna do? You know, in the middle 
middle of this, a stage. You know, right. there's not much. And so this was kind of a cool thing to have on tour because, you know, all the other artists come and play and the band and the crew. And um, then, you know, my cast will be able to play. So it's just something that I kind of take along with me. A what lot. do you play? What's your favorite game? Guitar Hero. You would think that, you know, being a professional, it'd be like me playing radio station at home. No, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. And it's okay because you can actually mess up, you know, this one. Yeah, but it's really funny. The better you are at guitar, the worse you play. It's really strange because my brother, like, can't play guitar at all and right. he can shred on the Guitar Hero. And then, like, and then you give someone that can really play, like, our real guitarist, right. and they are like, Horrible at the game. It's yeah. weird. I guess maybe if you know real chords, it's all I don't know. But I'm I'm not that great. But I like it. It's designed to make really bad guitarists <laughs> exactly. feel good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mark and Chris from the Big Eight Morning Mess, and we are backstage at Jacksonville Veterans Memorial Arena with the one and only Miley Cyrus. Yay! <laughs> we have a we have a couple questions here from listeners. What we did was we asked our listeners to write in because you know we couldn't bring everyone backstage. Chris and I had to get in, and well. We were limited to two. Uh, but we wanted to give them a chance to talk to you and ask you some questions. So, Chris, why don't you ask a question first? Kaylee Still from Jacksonville wants to know how it feels uh, to know that millions of people love you and your music. Um, I think the coolest feeling um, is when you see people singing the songs that you've written because there's so many things you have to do not only do you have to write the song you have to write the melody for it you have to figure out the guitars and that's you know some of the hardest part is more of the production so i mean writing a song and like your heart being on paper and then have something else sing it to you is pretty incredible cool excellent mackenzie bolin from ponte Vedra beach she's rich by the way <laughs> uh wants to know how did you break into show business um Honestly, it was kind of just like, it seems like everything went real fast because everyone on, you know, outside, it, it seemed like it came, you just like the show and blah, blah, blah. But it was actually like a lot of work in the beginning because at first it was something that I just kind of did for fun, but um, I started taking it more seriously um, because I wanted to do workshops and I wanted to like really just study the craft of it and not just be able to do it, but be able to say the history of some cool things. I mean, it's just... I took it on to make it more than just like a little hobby type thing. I really wanted to like study it. So I think that was it. And then and then people just saw, you know, like a kid, you know, kind of knowing all these grown up things about, you know, the cameras. And I learned how to do all that just by watching my dad. So I think just slowly just getting to like the professional part of it. And then um, I just figured out. I guess it's just something I, I, I love being at the set. You know, that's my favorite thing. I love being on, on tour, and it's so much fun. But, I mean, being on a set and getting to put yourself in a character's shoes and really get to live that out is really cool. Yeah. That is great. Okay, and I have Aislinn Godshaw, who asks, um, oh, what do you like best about being a pop star? What I like best? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think again with the traveling, I guess just getting to you know go different places, and it's also I'm getting to um, you know shoot the Hannah Montana movie soon, and so we're still going back and forth on locations where that's going to be. But I mean, it's just usually our set, you know, it's just in Hollywood. But here, I mean, just you know, sometimes you get to act, sometimes you get to go perform, sometimes just for press. I mean, you get all different types of things that you get to do in so many different places. So I think that's the coolest part. Is the Hannah Montana movie is that different than the movie that's coming out this week for a limited release? Yes, that's the 3D film, which is. Um, our show here, which is just the concert uh -huh. and a little backstage things, which is really fun. It's it's really it's kind of like I guess a comedy for people that you know are really watching. It's like what the heck is going on? Because there's so many little mistakes that are just like just shows how funny you know just putting a big show together is. And that's in theaters, I believe uh, Thursday. Yeah, right, tomorrow, and then uh, for a limited release. One more question from Amanda Hatcher from Orange Park. She wants to know what do you have in store for 2008. Um, right now, I'm kind of, we're a little bit crazy and everything's back and forth because we have, you know, projects already, you know, ready to go, but like the timing is kind of crazy just coming off because also me and my family want to take a little break and just go, you know, have like a little vacation. So we're trying to schedule it in where it's not, you know, running back and forth all and making it convenient for everyone. So, um, I'm going to start working on a second album soon and, I'm going to be working on the Hannah Montana movie. And then just, you know, I've got some things to do in L.A. that I have to, you know, catch up on and um, some shoots and some stuff like that. But and mostly my main focus for 2008 is the second album in the movie. By the way, do you have a dog? There's like a little pen back here. Is yeah, it's for my little dog, but he's on the bus. Oh, oh. what kind of dog is it? Um, I have two Yorkies, a Shih Tzu, a German Shepherd, and a Golden Retriever Lab mix. Are they all here? 
Um, no, two of them, and then no, three of them were here, and then two of them just left, so now I just have one with me. Okay, so what have we learned? Miley Cyrus loves dogs and sucks at Guitar Hero. <laughs> uh, that's, that's pretty much all you have to know. All right, uh, you're about ready to go and change and get on stage. Thank you so much. We really appreciate well, you taking the time. Thank you so much. Thank you. And next time you're in Jacksonville, you're more than welcome to invite us backstage again. I'm down, totally. <laughs> Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for the star of Hannah Montana, the Best of Both Worlds tour, Miley Cyrus. Yay! Bam! Bam! <laughs>